Veterinary Internal Medicine Anemia in Dogs In this presentation, we are going to discuss the causes, diagnosis, treatment, and prognosis of dog anemia. What exactly is anemia? Anemia is a medical term that refers to a low level of red blood cells, hemoglobin, or both. This medical term is not a distinct disease but a complication of another disease process or condition. The bone marrow produces red blood cells, which are then discharged into the bloodstream, where they circulate for approximately three months. Red blood cells are eliminated from the bloodstream as they age or become damaged, and their components are recycled to make new red blood cells. As a result, red blood cell count may drop due to decreased production, cell death, or more significant loss, as seen during bleeding. Hemoglobin transports oxygen to the body's cells and tissues, therefore, an anemic dog will exhibit symptoms associated with a lack of oxygen. What are the indications and symptoms of anemia? The most obvious and frequently recognized clinical indication of anemia is a loss of the typical pink color of the gums, they may appear pale pink to white when inspected. Additionally, anemic dogs lack stamina and vitality making them appear listless or easily fatigued. Further, weight loss, hard breathing, hunger loss, and increased heart rate, or symptoms of blood loss may be observed. Pale gums and lethargy are indicators that blood tests are necessary. What is the procedure for diagnosing anemia? Numerous tests are done on a blood sample to determine anemia. The packed cell volume, or hematocrit, is the most often used to test. These tests are frequently conducted in conjunction with a total blood cell count. In a healthy dog, between 35% and 55% of the blood will be red blood cells. If the PCV is less than 35%, the dog is deemed anemic. Additionally, the veterinarian can use the red blood cell count and hemoglobin count to identify if a dog is anemic. Dot when a low red blood cell count is detected, it is critical to determine whether the bone marrow creates an increasing number of new red blood cells to replace the lost red blood cells. When the body detects anemia, it prematurely releases immature, young, red blood cells from the bone marrow. These immature red blood cells, termed reticulocytes, can be dyed to aid in identifying a blood smear. Increased reticulocyte counts show that the anemia is responding. This increase indicates that the body has detected anemia and is working to compensate for the deficiency by releasing immature red blood cells. The presence of reticulocytes is seen by most automated blood analyzers, which enables your veterinarian to identify the body's response to anemia swiftly. A thorough blood smear examination is also necessary to rule out blood parasites that may be destroying red blood cells and aberrant cells that may signal leukemia. Additionally, a slide agglutination test can be used to aid in the exclusion of autoimmune hemolytic anemia. If there is concern that the bone marrow is not reacting correctly to the anemic state, a bone marrow biopsy or aspirate is collected. A sample of bone marrow is taken and tested which provides essential information about its status and, in some instances, reveals the cause of anemia. Additionally, biochemical profiles and your analysis are critical testings for anemic dogs. These tests assess organ function and electrolyte levels, which provide vital information about the dog's overall health. A fecal parasite examination is critical for identifying parasites in the digestive system that could be causing blood loss. To assist in determining the causes of anemia, imaging studies such as radiography or ultrasound may be recommended. What is the cause of anemia? Numerous disorders can result in anemia. These are classified as follows. Infectious conditions that result in blood loss. Illnesses that result in the breakdown or death of red blood cells. Diseases that impair red blood cell formation via bone marrow suppression which diseases result in blood loss. The most common causes of blood loss in dogs are as follows. Persistent bleeding is caused by trauma or injury to blood vessels or internal organs. Infestations with blood-sucking parasites such as fleas, ticks, 
and hookworms are common. Intestine cancers, kidney tumors, urinary bladder tumors, and spleen tumors that bleed. Disorders that impair normal blood clotting, which disorders result in hemolysis? The primary causes of hemolysis are as follows. Autoimmune illness, particularly hemolytic anemia mediated by the immune system. Blood parasites, such as Babesia. For instance, zinc toxicosis, rat poisons, onions, or garlic. Cancer, which disorders impair red blood cell formation by suppressing bone marrow? The following are the primary reasons for bone marrow suppression, which results in decreased red blood cell production. Any severe, chronic condition, such as chronic renal disease or liver disease, as well as ehrlichia. Extremely inadequate nutrition or nutritional imbalances. Autoimmunity. Hypothyroidism. Toxins or chemicals. Cancer. Do dogs develop anemia due to iron deficiency? Iron deficiency anemia is a relatively frequent condition among adults, particularly women. Iron deficiency is a common occurrence in dogs and is typically caused by persistent blood loss. It is infrequently observed in puppies on substandard diets or with severe hookworm infections. The prognosis can be favorable if the underlying cause is addressed and iron is provided. If your dog's anemia is severe enough to be life-threatening, then it will require a blood transfusion. Blood samples will be taken before transfusion for diagnostic testing or blood type. A blood transfusion's primary objective is to stabilize the dog until the underlying cause of the anemia is diagnosed and other treatments can begin to work. Once the underlying condition causing the anemia is diagnosed, the veterinarian can choose a more targeted treatment. Corticosteroids, anthelmintics, vitamin K1 and specific rodenticide toxicity, antibiotics such as doxycycline in the case of specific infectious causes, or surgery are all possible treatments for anemia in dogs. Your veterinarian will develop a treatment plan tailored to your dog's unique needs based on the results of diagnostic tests. How is the prognosis for anemia determined? The prognosis for dogs diagnosed with anemia is determined by the exact illness and the dog's overall health at the time of diagnosis. The prognosis is favorable if the anemia is detected early and the dog is in relatively excellent health. Conversely, dogs suffering from severe anemia due to toxins, cancer, or autoimmune illnesses, or as a result of severe trauma, have a poor prognosis.